first day is the first day of school. I'm on the way to pick up my bus with my sister because my car is in the shop because it failed inspection and I'm hoping to God that it comes back before I have to drive school students <gasps> or I'm gonna have to walk to work. And my bus is an old bus. They gave me an old bus because they're afraid I'll hit into something or something. I don't know. It has no AC, but you know what? It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through. We got this. One year of bus no AC probation and then we can get a brand new bus if we don't crash into anything, I think. <laughs> Let's go. Over the summer, I did do one route with elementary school students, and I didn't do a story time on that. I didn't tell you guys how that went. It was kind of tragic, but kind of okay at the same time. So let's get into the story time, shall we? So after I was released to be a bus driver, I was thinking I would have a summer school route, but they were all taken because there was like a $400 bonus and everyone wanted the bonus, so no one was calling out or anything like that. So that was fine. I was like, okay, it's fine. I'll just start driving when school starts. But the week after I got released, I got called at 5.57 in the morning and they were like, hey, can you come in and drive this route? This lady called out and we need you to come in. So I was like, okay. I can do that. As soon as I get a uh, hang up from the phone call, it's like 5.59, I run outside, my mom's getting ready for work, and I'm like, mom, I just got called in for work. And then she's just like, oh really? And then she's like, oh, what bus are you gonna drive? What route do you have and stuff? And she like explains it all to me. I, like I like explain it all to her from what I know and stuff. So she's like, okay, you gotta go get the boys ready. So I'm like, yeah, cause like Eli's gone, like everyone else is gone. She's about to leave for work. So I gotta get the boys to take them on the bus with me. And I was like a little freaked out, and she was just like, you know what? It's okay, I'll pre-trip your bus for you because you have to like pre-trip the bus like before you get going and stuff. She was like, I'll pre-trip your bus. Everything will be fine. You just go there, get on it, and you can drive to your route or whatever. So I grab the boys, like wake them up, brush their teeth and stuff. They're super excited because they're like, they've been asking me to drive the bus like for the whole three months that I was getting all of my stuff together. They're like, when are we gonna drive the bus? When are we gonna drive the bus? Like kept on asking. So they're like super excited about this. They're like, we're gonna drive a bus today. Get in the car, we're driving away. We get to the, the transportation department. I take the boys inside, we go and pick up our packet, then hop back in the car and drive around to the bus area. Then we're looking for the bus. They told me that the bus was in the B row, but no one really explained to me what the B row is. But you know, logically the B row would be like, there's row one and then there's row two and row one's A and row two is B, right? So I walk to the second row and I have all the kids with me. Like I've got Ark like in my arms. I got Claymore like at my sides. They both got their little like Mandalorian baby Yoda backpacks on and we're just like strutting through the buses and there are so many buses so many rows and we're just like in there like looking for the bus and I cannot find it in B row I was actually in H row and B row was actually like in the middle which makes absolutely no sense to me but luckily there was this lady who was like walking and I was like excuse me and she was just like yes and I was just like do you know where the B row is and she was like yeah and then she was like it's that one over there and like points to the middle and I was like dang and she was just like what bus are you looking for and she like helped me find it and everything so I get in the bus and I'm trying to strap the kids in and it is not working to adjust it because the seats are like too skinny for them basically and I was just like I need to adjust the seat and it's like literally just not working I had to turn on the bus radio in and be like hey I don't know how to like fix the seats I thought they were gonna give me instructions like over the thing, but they're like, oh, just drive the bus up to the front. I'm like, how am I supposed to drive my kids up there when they're half buckled? Like, I was just like, am I not even supposed to move this bus? So basically she expected me to drive the bus up to the front of the building so she can come out and like help me to fix the seats. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna listen to her. I'm not trying to like butt any heads with anybody on my first day, especially on any day anyway. So I hop in the seat and I'm trying to start my bus and my bus won't start. And I'm just like, what is happening? Like, why won't the bus start? Like, I was literally freaking out. I tried it like four times. So then I had to switch the radio to the garage and was like, this is bus blah, 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 blah to garage. My bus won't start. And then the garage guy is just like, did you put your bus in neutral? And I looked at it and like, it was in reverse. And I was like, <laughs> like, I was so embarrassed because literally like, this is like, the easiest training part like of training like your bus is in neutral your parking brake is set my bus is safe to start blah 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 like that is like the first step you go over all i'm saying is it was so embarrassing i was like oh thank you so much and then i like literally had the squeakiest voice when i called them back and when i radioed back in and was like oh yeah that was the problem thank you so much and then i like quick switched 
switched off the garage channel and back to the school channel. And then, because I took so long, the lady who wanted me to meet her at the front of the building to help me fix the seats was already walking to the bus like I could see her. And I was like, damn, this day is just... And I got there in time, like just in time to start my route and pick up the kids like on time. But because of all these setbacks, I was literally now running like 25 minutes late. <sighs> After she helps me with the, the seats and stuff, I finally start driving off to where I'm supposed to be. Just before my first stop, I get radioed from dispatch and it's like, bus blah blah blah, this is dispatch. And I'm like, yes, dispatch, this is bus blah blah blah. And then it's just like, did you get to the first stop yet? And I was like, no. So I got to my first stop like a couple minutes after she radioed me. I picked up two kids and I was like, yes, I got two kids. The kids that walked on was like a little girl and a little boy. And I was like, yes, I got some kids on my bus. <laughs> so the girl sat right behind Liam and Ark and she kept on like going over the top of the seat trying to touch Liam's hair because you know Liam's got that ethnic hair and she's probably just like, whoa, I have not seen hair like this before. And she just kept touching it. And Liam's just looking back like, who is this? Who is this like touching my hair? And I was just like, oh my gosh. And then I had to be like, excuse me, miss, because I don't know anyone's names. So I was literally just like, every time anyone acted up, I was like, sir, ma'am, excuse me, miss, excuse me, sir. And these are elementary schoolers, like five to 10 years old. And I was just like, excuse me, sir, in the red. And they have to like look down at their shirt like, am I in red? <laughs> yeah, it was a day. So I had to tell her like four times to stop hopping over the seat. Because if I had to slam on my brake for any reason, little girl would have like, come crashing down on my son's leg and probably hurt herself. So I was like, please stop doing that, ma'am. Like, please like fix yourself, sit down properly. I swear if anyone pulled the tape from that day, they would probably have been laughing so hard because I was literally like, sir, please sit down. Ma'am, please get these little children. So my second stop was the one that they called in and asked if I had already made it there, right? My second stop was like Tyrell Off Road or something. And I was looking for Tyrell Off Road. And the thing that sucks about this is I don't know my town. I'm gonna be the first to explain it, okay? <laughs> so like, I was always the kid in the car playing on my DS in the back seat. And mom's like, oh, we're gonna go to Walmart. And I'm like, okay. Then I got some jobs. And then I started GPSing to my jobs. So I know exactly how to get to my job, to my church, to my house. And then to the stores that I wanna go to. But everywhere else, I don't know the back roads. I don't know the front roads. I don't know route three from route one. I just know Milk Road and I know it's a Madness Fresh Highway. Like literally, if someone's like Route 3, I'm like, which one is that? Is that the one that the Chinese food store is on? So basically, I don't know where Tyrell Road is. And to make things worse, Tyrell Road was under construction and there was no sign stating Tyrell Road. There are some really like sus roads that don't want themselves to be like acknowledged so they have no name tag and it's really aggravating. So basically, I passed Fabulous Road and didn't know I passed it, but I was looking like really hard on every road. Afterwards, I took the GPS in my car and was like looking around because I wanted to make sure that I didn't pass Fabulous Road. And I actually didn't and I looked down there and no one was there, which is annoying because the people had just called like five minutes before I got there and they weren't there for me. But anyways, so because I was looking so hard for Target Off Road and didn't see it, I passed my next stop, which I was supposed to make a left turn. There was no way I could get over in time to get all the way over there, so I didn't. I like radioed in, called dispatch, and was like, hey, I missed my turn, I'm on this road, where can I turn around? They took forever to radio back to me, by the way. I told them exactly where I was. They were just like, didn't respond. And then I was just like, okay, so I'm up now passing the coals and this and that. And they're like, you should have turned around by the CVS. And I was just like, um, okay, uh, so where can I turn around now? I'm up by Walmart and blah, blah, blah. And she's just like, yeah, you should have turned around by the CVS. And I realized she was going to be absolutely no help to me. So I was just like, okay, thank you. And then I figured it out on my own that I should go all the way up to this place, go all the way around and come back and loop. I used to go to Golden Corral up there. So I was just like, you know, I can, I know that that makes like a whole UE, whatever, whatever. And the bus is big enough to make it. So I should be able to make it, but she was absolutely no help at all. When I was going up there, right? Remember I had two kids on my bus, a girl and a boy. The boy starts to almost cry and he looks at me and he's just like, bus driver. And I was just like, Yes, sir. And he's just like, this isn't the way to school. And I was just like, oh God, I'm like scaring this kid. He thinks I'm abducting him. I don't know what's happening. And I was just like, I'm so sorry. I am trying to take you to school again. Okay, made a wrong turn and I'm trying to fix it. And I, I, was, I felt so bad. Like I felt bad. And so he was just like, okay, 
I finally got back to the right place where I was supposed to go. After that, the route sheet was pretty straightforward. The thing that I hate about bus driving is you literally have a piece of paper in your hand that you have to read to figure out where your stops are and stuff, which is why I'm never going to do like substitute bus driving because you read a route sheet constantly because you never know, like you never get used to your route and stuff like that. But they say that you can't text while you're driving. They say you can't call anybody while you're driving. But you might as well be texting while you're driving because you're literally, while you're driving, reading a sheet of paper like, oh, turn left on Tarbula Road and stop in 5.5 miles. Like, dude, you are so, like, not paying attention to the road in a big mammoth of a vehicle. It is not safe, okay? So basically, <laughs> I started picking up all the other kids and it started getting crazy. By the time... I got to school, I had like 32 probably kids on my bus, and I was just like picking them up, going through. I had to pull the bus over because there was this one lady who was literally like, before her kid came on the bus, she was like, make good decisions today. And I was like, oh, hell no, what kind of kid is this about to come on my bus? As soon as he came on the bus, all the kids did a wave moving away from him. And I was like, this is not good. This is super, super not good. And I had to pull over the bus because he was punching people, flicking people off, and I had to like pull the bus over walk down to the back of the bus i was just like sir you need to move to the front of the bus come sit with me and i was like scared in doing this because you know who's sitting with me is my kids up there and i was like i don't want him punching kicking my kids and flicking them off <laughs> but at the same time this is my job so i was like come sit with me sir he would not listen and i was like sir your mother said to make good choices today make a good choice and move he just literally moves to the seat right in front of him and i was just like when i said move that was not what i was talking about i meant you need to move to the front of the bus and he just sat there and didn't make a good choice so i just moved all the other kids around him so that there was a cushion where there were two seats empty in front of him and two seats empty behind him the whole bus ride to the school he kept moving from seat to seat to seat and badgering the kids at the back still so i was just like i gotta write this sucker up when i pulled over over. I pulled over in a subdivision where I was supposed to pick up a kid so it was like an actual stop but the kid wasn't there but I also couldn't wait because everyone was like bus driver can you come back here please and get him and then the mom while I'm trying to like talk to the kids is trying to talk to me through the window the mom of the child who she dropped off at the school already because she thought I wasn't coming because I was like 20 30 minutes late at this point I was just like um yes like trying to be polite to the mother because you don't want like people to complain about you especially on your first day which it was my first solo bus driving mission day it would have been kind of like bad if I had a parent be like oh I was trying to talk to her through the window and she's being so rude but dude your kid is not here like you don't need to talk to me like go away so I can do my job and get going she's literally trying to have a full-blown conversation with me and school is about to start in five minutes I was like oh heck no come on come on I I gotta go literally I'm, uh okay thank you i gotta go bye and then i finished talking to the kids when i was talking to them in the back still moving them around and stuff they radio me and was like dispatch to kelsey didn't even say my bus number like why you gotta expose me like that you know what i'm saying and then i was just like yes this is me and then she was just like is everything okay and i was like yeah i just had to stop to try to discipline some kids she was like what are they doing and i was like throwing themselves over the seats punching kids kicking kids flicking kids off and then she's just like yep you gotta write them up when you get to the school tell the principal and i was like okay it was a long ride to the school let me tell you that girl still kept on popping over the seat trying to rub liam's head i was literally just like you you in the red like i mean this other kid was not the only kid who was acting up there were some other kids let me tell you all i saw was knees looking down the aisle and you're just supposed to see the aisle i was like you guys I need to be able to see the aisle. No knees. Put your knees inside of the seats. And they just like twist their knees a little bit. And I still see those kneecaps. At one point, this kid starts screaming for his backpack. And like three kids are fighting over it. And I was like, excuse me, sirs. Excuse me. All of you. And they're just like, yes. And they start like looking at me with the deer in the headlights look. And I was like, whose backpack is that? Two of them were just like his. And I was just like, so let him have his backpack. And they're just like, okay. And I was just like, dude, what was the point of that? Literally in the aisle fighting over somebody else's backpack. I was mind blown. I was like, I definitely was not like this in elementary school. Like my bus was actually pretty good. I was just like, what is happening right now? These people going, doing the most for absolutely no reason. I was super happy when I finally got to the school. I literally was just like, yo, I do not like elementary schoolers. I don't like them. I don't like them. When I got to the school, 
the principal already knew something had happened and he was just like were there any issues that you had today and I was just like yeah and I started explaining everything to him and I like asked all the kids on the bus before I got there what the kids name was that was being bad they all ratted him out and I was just like <laughs> so like I told the, him by name and then I, I described the other kid in the red shirt and whatever the principal was like yeah he got written up yesterday and the day before he was just like well at least there was only one write up today and I was like <laughs> Nobody gave me a disclaimer. Nobody gave me a disclaimer. It was literally like a jungle on the bus and the bus was rocking because they were doing the most. The amount of times I was like, sir, please sit down. Sir, ma'am, please stop throwing yourself over the seat. Sir, give him back his backpack. Whose headphones is that? Whose jacket is that? Sir, please, you in the red, you in the blue, you in the pink. And they're just looking at themselves like they forgot what they wore today. Like they'd just be like, you in the black with the Carhartt shirt. And I'm like, oh, is that me? Dude, it was the craziest thing ever it was the craziest the craziest my mom was just like you just gotta take it easy like you can't stress too much like if they don't listen to you you just gotta keep on like you know driving your your number one thing is to get them to school on time and if they don't listen to you just write them up and don't like think about it too much but man i'm gonna tell you i will never like i never thought my boys were bad before ever but literally I am so grateful and now I know what people are talking about when they say your kids are so good because every time I go grocery shopping you're like oh my gosh your kids are so good my kids would never and I'm like never what just sit in the cart and be quiet and now I know what y'all are talking about like I was literally like oh my god this is what they mean by other kids so yeah mm -hmm. like I mean yeah my kids were even looking at the kids like what the hell's going on but yeah so um this, now I have high schoolers and middle schoolers on my route and I might get an elementary school route if it opens up So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, hopefully the high schoolers and middle schoolers will be like a little better But I hear that middle school kids are a little crazy at the same time I think when I was in middle school everyone was just on the bus with their headphones in so hopefully that's kind of the mo You know, but anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye Oh and wish me luck this week Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well and tap that notification bell. Thanks for watching and see you soon. More videos come so please stay tuned.